This video is to help you to uh, set up your new magpie trap. And before we begin, I'm going to just show you three tools that you're going to need to set up your trap. You're going to need a utility knife, just a standard pair of pliers, and a pair of wire cutters or side cutters or lineman pliers, whichever we like to call them. And uh, those essentially are the only three things that you need to set up your trap. The first thing we're going to do when you get your trap is uh, using this razor knife, we're going to just cut it open, cut the card in the box open. And here's your trap. Set this aside. This is what your trap looks like. And it's going to come with two pieces of hardware. The first one is contains your perch, a couple of zip ties to fasten your perch, and a little hairpin. And um, we're going to talk a little more about that later. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. The next bag of hardware, I'm going to open this up and just set it out here so that you get a good view of what it contains. It contains a supply of zip ties and it contains a supply of these little metal clips or staples. And it contains four pieces of wood and these are actually your triggers or your or the split perch. The trap comes clipped together with zip ties so it doesn't come apart in transport. So we're just going to use our wire cutters to clip these zip ties off. Once they're all unclipped, I want to show you how this will work really neatly. Just stand the trap up like this and you flip these two pieces flat out. That sort of gets them out of the road. And this part flips this way. This part, I'm going to come around here so you can see what I'm doing. Flip up this way, set it in, here, in position here. And uh, this kind of starts to look like it's supposed to. Now we want to just kind of line things up. So these two center separators should line up with where these hinges are and they line up the four corners. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble and for the assembly, we've got a couple of choices and that's why we have the zip ties or the metal clips. You can assemble with either one. If we use the zip ties, that will actually be for those who would like to disassemble the trap. Let's say you want to transport the trap or if you want to uh, flatten it again for storage purposes. If you use the zip ties, the trap will be easy to disassemble. The metal clips are more for a more permanent assembly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, do a couple of, um, of these fastenings with these clips just to show you how that works. And I'm going to do some with the 
um, zip ties as well to show you both ways. So when you're using these metal clips, all you need is a standard pair of pliers, nothing fancy. You kind of put the clip in there just like this. And then, we've already made sure that these are lined up. And all I'm going to do is set this here, give this a squeeze, and that is done. I'm going to do the same with this other end. Come over here, give this a squeeze, and that's done. And I'm going to do this other center section. Over here, give that a squeeze, that's done. Squeeze that together, that's done. And now, we can fold this up to here. And what I found that really works well is uh, either three or four of these per side, per end. And that really seems to be about all that's required. Come over here and use this other side. So you, you can see this trap is already starting to take some pretty good shape. It's looking like it's supposed to. And uh, next uh, For clarity's sake, the next thing I'm going to do is match up these with the zip ties. So now these four on this side are all done, and we're just going to go through this side by side so that we don't miss any. And the zip ties are simply thread them through. Pull them tight. And I need one more on this one. So you can see doing them with the zip ties is a little faster. And like I said earlier, if you decide that you want to disassemble it, it's easier just to cut those zip ties off. And uh, on this one, I'm going to actually use the metal clips to assemble the rest of it. And on this side, so there's these two sides of me doing. I'm going to be able to do them from this position. Like I said, if you use three or four clips on the shorter sides, that's more than sufficient. Um, these, uh, these are just birds, so they're not that powerful. They're not going to uh, be able to unbend those. So this is all done. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over this way. and. This one's done. Three clips. And these are these are factory clips, so we don't have to do anything on this one. However, this one needs to be clipped. need to be clipped and that's a factory clip so we need to clip these two down the center here
and give another quarter turn. We did this one, factory clipped. We need to do these two. And give another quarter turn, and this is where we started from. And now if you do use the zip ties, then just to make things neat and tidy, I like to clip these off. Just makes the end result look that much more tidy. Okay. Now, the next item on the agenda is um, the installation of the perch. And I'm just going to cut this part show you what uh, hardware you need. So there's two zip ties and the perch. And I'm just going to sharpen these so it makes it a little easier to thread. Now, the reason for this item right here, the hairpin, commonly called, is it becomes a latch for this door and it's important that you use this in that if you don't, um, I have found that I've lost magpies because I failed to do up this latch. So all you have to do is just put that on there and uh, it will keep your magpies from escaping. They will figure out how to open that door if you don't put that latch on. So I'm just going to open this up so that we can see what we're doing here. And magpie's a perching bird. You need a perch for that for the magpie for it to rest properly. And what I like to do is I like to get it approximately a little more than halfway up in the trap. And the idea there is this piece of metal, in fact, is the roof over the magpie's head. And you want th this perch up high enough so that if there is inclement weather, the magpie, in fact, is protected from any rain or in the northern latitudes, snow, sleet. Um, it's not unusual. I've, I've kept magpies alive in the trap for months at a time and uh, all you have to do is feed them and look after them. They are a live animal and um, you want to treat them with, with kindness. So I'm just going to set this in place and it looks about right. And I'm going to get my hand around through here and get this started. And just tightened up really nice. And I'm going to turn this around so that you can see this side. Get my zip tie around here. Then I'll take my cutters, put this off, put this off, and voila, the trap is complete.